As part of the 25th Festa Italiana last week, meteorologist Peter Hall and Violet Skyboard took part in the media meatball eating contest. Peter won it all. He ate seven meatballs in just 90 seconds. So we're thinking, I mean, Violet, nice work too. But Peter, how did he do it? Let's go to the slow motion replay. Here we go. Yep, he's got the fork. He's left-handed. He took eating. the whole thing down in one bite. He's got the right Indiana. hand behind the back, I think, for support. And then no, not paying attention to that sauce. No, going he doesn't down the care. Chin. Leave the sauce and for later. And he keeps kind of looking up to the heavens, like, please God, <laughs> let me get through this. And somehow that led to victory. <laughs> I could watch that over and over again. Pete, let's talk strategy here, my friend. <laughs> oh, was it boy. trying to get a little water in between, standing up? The was standing, that part of the it? The standing up is brilliant, I think. It yeah. kind of opens everything up. Doesn't that, it? That's exactly why I did it. And the reason why I was looking up, besides for divine intervention, <laughs> is that so it goes down. Ah. So then you got a big belly like this. <laughs> this is full of meatballs, and it was delicious. There was so, a full strategy. So if you go out to eat a nice meal, you suddenly stand up halfway through it. Hey, listen. Like, oh, this chicken is delicious. You got to do what you got to do. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Bravo. Well there. done, Pete. Well done. Bravo. I'm proud of you. I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> it, it was a lot of fun, and Violet did a great job. Came in second place, by the way. Yeah, oh, good she's, job, a, she's a pretty solid eater herself. I, I'm, sure, I'm surprised she let you win. <laughs> <laughs> How about the weather, Peter? Well, we have a few sprinkles happening right now. Otherwise, it's been a day with both clouds and sun, and some of us have actually seen some downpours, while others have barely seen anything. So let's talk about that and what's new and next. So today's high was around 74, which if you look at the normal normal high is 72, it's, it's actually a seasonably warm day. We do have a small system over us right now, and that'll be over us as well tonight through tomorrow. So we'll have to dodge and hopscotch some showers. And it will be a slow start in the Sky Department with a lot of cloud cover tomorrow morning. I think the best part of tomorrow is the afternoon, but even so, we're likely to have a chilly day and possibly the coolest high of our early season. I know it's not quite fall, but let's call it of September. And we're also going to have some chilly nights coming up, especially as we look ahead to Wednesday and uh, Thursday, where we talk about both of those mornings, Tuesday night and Wednesday night, and Wednesday morning and Thursday morning are going to be quite chilly because skies are going to be clear. But of course, clear sky means lots of sunshine. And overall, as we look ahead to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, it's a super September situation with lots of sun and quiet weather. And like I just mentioned, while it's a chilly start, our numbers should be near just around normal, lower 70s. Of course, I know it's only Monday, but it's never too early to look ahead to a weekend. We have a lot of events happening. We also have the Syracuse Army game, which I'll give you a preview of in a minute. There is a system, which again, I'll go in depth with this in the next half hour, but there's a coastal system that may become tropical or not, and it'll hang out in the Atlantic, east of Florida and south of the Carolinas. Where this goes over the next several days will ultimately determine whether we get rain or not this weekend, clouds or not this weekend. So we'll see. It's a long ways away. First things first, though, let's talk about the immediate future. Here's a wide look at the fossil service experts live triple Doppler radar. We've had some scattered showers. You can see some coming through right now in a downpour just north of Rome. And there are some other ones here over Lake Ontario. And while some of these will fall apart between now and this evening, some new developments happen over the lake. We'll watch this between 8 p.m. and midnight right there. These are actually some lake enhanced rain showers and also notice all the cloud cover. So, We'll be in and out of clouds this evening and an opportunity of some showers early and then a break. And then later tonight through tomorrow morning, some leftover showers and a lot of cloud cover. Tomorrow is probably marred with lots of clouds. The first to get the sun out will be the Western Finger Lakes and the far southern tier. We'll try to get the sun out. It's going to be slow go for a while, but then eventually we're hoping for the sun sunshine to come out in the greater Syracuse area. But as I've mentioned, we're probably not getting out of the 60s. My forecast high of 67 will be the coolest in several months. Notice the 48 Wednesday morning and the 45 Thursday morning and the 48 Friday morning. That's because of clear sky, which implies upper 30s to lower 40s for the coolest countryside. But 71, 74, 76 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday is a trifecta of amazing weather. If there's going to be any re rain this weekend, it'd be Saturday night and Sunday, but it's too early to tell whether that's going to happen or not. Stanley Law Skywatch, we have a sprinkle coming through on the Regency Tower camera back inside.